This is check understanding on module three, lesson two. So let's get going with this. Our first one, Marcus needs to measure out two thirds liter of a solution. He is using a container that holds one sixth liter. How many groups of one sixth are in two thirds? How many times will Marcus need to fill the container? There are blank groups of one sixth and two thirds. So I need to come up with my work page over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two sixths. It would help if I put a pen on, sorry. Two sixths. Not two sixths, I'm sorry. Two thirds divided by one sixth. So two sixths times six over one because the first fraction comes down. You change division to multiplication and then you flip. Before I multiply, I'm going to cross cancel my three and six. Three goes into three once, three goes into six twice. So now we have two times two equals four. One times one is one. Our answer is four. So we get four groups, which also that is the answer. Let's go to number two. Roberta bought nine tenth pounds of raisins. She put two fifth, two fifth pound in bags for her lunch. How many two fifth pounds of bags can Roberta fill? Does she have any left over? Enter the correct answer. So how many whole bags with the fraction of the bag or the amount of pounds left? So let's get up the work page. So she has nine tenths. So that's how many she has total and we're gonna be dividing them into two fifths. The first fraction comes straight down. The division changes into multiplication and we flip the second fraction. Um, we're going to cross cancel our 5 and our 10 because 5 divided by 5 is 1. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So 9 times 1 is 9. 2 times 2 is 4. This is an improper fraction when you change it to a mixed number. So I have 9 divided by 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 9 minus 8 is 1. So I get 2 and 1 fourth. So two whole bags. with one fourth bag or one fourth pound left over. Okay, actually what they wanted in this last one was one tenth. So I drew the bar out. I drew, I drew 10 out because there is a 10 right here for some reason. Oh, hold on one second. I'm having some technical difficulties. So since I have a 10 right here, I draw out 10. I colored in nine bars because it says nine tenths. I changed two tenths to four tenths, so it would be the same. So I made groups of four because it says four right here. So one, two, three, four. I get one. One, two, three, four. That's group two. I then have this guy left over. Remember, each one of these represents one tenth. That's why I have one tenth of a pound left over. Let's look at question three. Okay, we're just going to go in and divide the fractions. Make sure you're showing this on your work paper. It should go by really quickly for you if you know your multiplication facts. So I have. Six tenths divided by two fifths. My first fraction comes straight down. My division changes to a multiplication and I flip the second fraction. I only flip the second fraction, not the other fractions. Now I'm going to look so I can cross cancel at the five and the ten. 
five goes into five once, five goes into 10 twice. We're gonna look at the six and this two. Two goes into two once, two goes into six three times. So I'm gonna end up with three over two, which equals one and one half. I know this because three divided by two, we get one, as one times two is two, so three minus two is one. This is the numerator, and this is the denominator, so I get one and one half. So one and one half. Be careful as you're clicking them, so that way you get your mixed number in the correct order. Our next one is three eighths divided by one third. The three eighths come straight down. Division changes into multiplication and I flip the second fraction. If I look across, I cannot cross cancel anyway. So three times three is nine. Eight times one is eight. Eight goes into nine once with one left over. So I get one and one eighth. Check my answer. There we go. Next, we have five ninths divided by two thirds. First thing we always are going to do when we're dividing, we're gonna write it out, we're gonna show work. So I have five ninths divided by two thirds. First things first, our first fraction comes straight down. Division changes into multiplication and we flip the second fraction. When we flip the second fraction, we're gonna look for cross canceling. So three and nine. I know that three goes into three once and three goes into nine three times. I look this way, can't do anything. So five times one is five. Three times two is six. So we get an answer of five sixths. Next up is our final one. They threw a whole number in on for us. Remember, when I need, when I have fractions, I have a whole number. I have to put, I don't know why I just wrote five, sorry. When we have fractions and we have a whole number, we have to put a one under it. So I'm going to change 10 into 10 over one. The 10 over one is going to come straight down because it's my first fraction. My division sign is going to change to multiplication. And I'm going to flip the second number. I'm looking for cross canceling, and I'm going to look at this 2 and 10 because I know 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 10 five times. So now we have 1 times 5 is 25, and then we have 1 times 1 is 1. Remember, that's a whole number because it's over 1. We get 25. Let's check our answer. And we are done with our check understanding today.